Hey, it's like this is and welcome back to the channel for another part of my Sims 4 series, Finding Solace. So Leo, Aspen, and Nani are moved into their home. There are still some things that are needing to be unpacked. We have a few living room boxes down here as well as some bathroom stuff. And also um, in the kitchen, we have a few things that still need to be unpacked. But for the most part, they have a lot of their big furniture pieces out. The rest is kind of just like decor pieces and also just pictures and things like that, which I plan to unpack at a half camera because I want to feel like they're doing this for a while so I am going to leave the boxes out through this whole episode and this is the only furniture that you guys are going to be seeing in this episode but I do want to give you guys a quick little tour Nani's currently at school and um yeah but this is our kitchen now we do have a lot of simoleons left over so we're obviously going to use that for like furniture and then we also want to paint and maybe redecorate the kitchen there's nothing wrong with the kitchen at all I love this kitchen for me personally but for Aspen she's definitely more into like the darker tones so we'll probably have either like a dark brown in here or probably like a black obviously because Aspen loves black and um, out here we do have our grill and our lounge chairs out as well I did download a whole bunch of custom content um, furniture pieces so I think that those are gonna look really nice in her kitchen and just throughout the house but we do have Nani's little puppet show thing here we didn't really have anywhere else to put it for right now I was thinking about making this a playroom for right at the I mean for this time period of their life because I just feel like that would be the best um option here is making this a playroom um this is their living room as you all can see I do think that the colors are very fitting and this is just definitely Aspen's scheme here <laughs> and um color scheme and then upstairs, uh, I still wanted to make it look like, obviously, we were still unpacking, like I said, but this is their daughter's room. Again, going to do a bunch of remodeling in here and switch out the colors and things like that. Let me um, turn on the lights so you guys can actually see. Let's just turn on all lights. There we go. Um, but yeah, I put out her little violin and she's been practicing. She also recently joined Scouts because she's been struggling a lot to make friends. Um, I went and I sent her to school and had her do the option to make friends and she only only ended up making one and that was through the whole course of the day I expected at least like two to three friends but you know she's kind of quiet to herself so I did expect that um but Leo's thinking about getting her a puppy because um he thinks that that would help with companionship and pause really quickly what I'm doing here so I can focus but I originally had it planned that Leo was going to get a puppy for Aspen but I definitely feel like getting a dog for Nani instead probably would be better at this point but this is going to be a LJ's room over here. We still have a lot of stuff to unpack, as I said, but a few of the big pieces are out, and it's obviously not going to look like this when the baby's here, but just a few things to look like they're still unpacking things in here. Off to the side, we have Leo and Aspen's room. Again, more stuff to be unpacked, but I love, I love the way this layout is in here, and I love this little um, section where you can, like this little closet section over here is really pretty and then off to the side there is another room here and then we have a bathroom over here towards the back and I was thinking about making this like Leo's office space because we all know that he had like that little space at the old apartment so I want to keep that uh, consistency by giving him a little place to go away for a little bit because Aspen has her whole studio and all Leo really wants is just an office space a little corner space but yeah guys this is the house I'm so happy that we're in it and we are officially living here I did put some cars out here to pretend like this is Leo's car oh my gosh she wants to invite over her friend yes of course <laughs> and I wanted to pretend that this is Aspen's car she's got like this little sporty car I could definitely see her driving that car but oh my gosh what's wrong with her She's feeling confident, but she was walking kind of sluggish there. Oh, she's tired. Oh, poor Nani. So why'd you invite your friend over if you were tired? <laughs> this is Nani's friend, Melanie. This is the only friend that Nani made. And I mean, it's okay. She's trying. She's definitely um, doing her best at the moment. And that's all that matters. We just want her, oops, <laughs> we just want her to be happy. But I did say that we were going to try to adopt her a dog in this episode. I do not shop, y'all. I adopt. <laughs> so we will be adopting a puppy. Hopefully they have something cute. You know, Jasmine, please leave me alone. <laughs> um, I do need to come out here and get the mail. I have no idea what's in this mailbox, but um, we're going to have Leo go outside and check and then we'll do a few more things. Leo, like I said, is going to be graduating in this episode. We have a few more days. We have three days left of our term and I'm just so happy for him. We're going to have Leo with the whole 
master's degree, you know, like he is going to be thriving and following his dreams. And I love that for him. Um, but what did we get? Oh, these are the toys. <laughs> so Nani begged her dad for some toys and, you know, he said, okay, it's fine, honey. You can get some toys. We have a new house. I know that you want new things as well. So <laughs> he sold her. Yes. And she went on the computer and she ordered some stuff. Um, but these are her new toys that she ordered. She also has some in her inventory as well. She just really like spent, spent some money. I think she spent, I think like 500 simoleons. <laughs> she got a new soccer ball and she got these action figures and she was just thriving guys. Like I was so happy for her. <laughs> I was like, spend your daddy's money. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I like how, um, her, her friend is down here just chilling, talking to Aspen and Leo. <laughs> Nani's like, I'll be back. I just, I really need to get some sleep. I'm going to have, um, Nani watch the Cortex kids, I think is what it's called with her friend Melanie. And Aspen's like, do you want to stay for dinner? I could totally make something. And Melanie's like, of course I do. So we're going to come in here and we are going to cook a meal. Now I'm thinking something simple. What should we do? I say something simple and then watch me pick something very over the top. Um, ooh, just beef ramen. Yeah, that sounds good. Oh, I think I did a single. Um, let's see. Serve dinner. Where is serve dinner? Oh, there it is. <laughs> let's serve. Ooh, chicken stir fry. I do this all the time. The, like, if any of y'all watch my videos, I'm constantly selecting chicken stir fry. I think I just, I really love me some chicken stir fry. <laughs> um, but, uh, let's have her go in here and prepare some dinner. And guys, I was thinking about in this episode, I'm thinking about chopping Aspen's hair off. And please don't be mad at me if you enjoy her long hair or her medium length hair. I like it too, but I was going back and recapping on some of the things I said in the previous episodes and just kind of seeing where I was with Aspen been in the beginning and as to where I am now and I saw her short hair and let me tell y'all it just looks so good <laughs> so I think I'm gonna send her to the hairstylist and get her hair cut a little bit you know just just a little trim but maybe something super dramatic we'll see and I also just love the vibes of Aspen being in her pajamas this whole time since we started recording. She's just pregnant. She's ready to have this baby. She's huge. She can't wait to meet her son and she can't wait to get back in her studio. Like most importantly, look at Leo up here. and just looking at these toys. He's like, this is where all my money went. <laughs> <laughs> action figures, horses, monsters, dinosaurs, and a carriage. <laughs> He's like, whatever makes my baby girl happy, I'll definitely spend that money for her. <laughs> oh my gosh, he took her robot. No, you didn't. Um, let's have him come down because I do believe Aspen's almost done, you know, making the stir fry. Oh yeah, she just finished. So I'm going to have Aspen call everybody to the meal. Oh my gosh, that actually looks pretty good. Um, yes, let's call to a meal and that way Nani and her friend can get some food. She's really going to walk all the way in here and then tell them dinner's ready. Look at them watching this movie. This is so cute. <laughs> I love the vibes of us having a house. It just looks so homey and... Oh my gosh, I love all the space we have, and I know that there's, like, big apartments that we could have lived in, but it, I, I don't know. I know a lot of you all really expressed that you were sad that Aspen was leaving the city because she looked just so much like a city girl. Not those city girls, <laughs> but a city girl, and, um... I mean, she was, but I do feel like she's ready to settle and have this home and, you know, own her house and everything. So I'm just happy for where she's at now. Are y'all going to sit at the table? Oh my God, so cute. I love this. See, this is what I'm talking about. Just like these very home vibes and just this neighborhood. This is such a good neighborhood. I always gravitate towards Brindleson Bay. I don't know. It's just something about it. It's just so pretty to me and just so family oriented. I love coming here. But yeah, I know that she seems so much like a city a city native but I just I really want her to experience like a house life you know she had her home taken away from her by stupid Edmund which by the way guys we are not done with him he he will be appearing again later um but you know he just he took that away from her and now that she has one of her own it's just like 
yes, finally, you know, but, um, we're gonna have Leo get on the computer in the morning. It's actually, we could, we could go now. I feel like it's kind of late to try to get this puppy adopted, but I do want to see what kind of dogs they have anyway. So we're gonna come over here and we're gonna go to adopt and adopt a dog and we're gonna see what kind of dogs they have on their website. Hopefully something, I want a puppy that way she can grow with the dog and oh my gosh, you guys know my dogs live forever in my saves. Oh my gosh, like we have Olive, a wire fox terrier, pumpkin, King Charles Spaniel. We've got a domestic fox here, biscuit. Oh my god, Shetland, sheepdog. There's so many. There's two pumpkins. That's cute. Um, we have a Rottweiler, we got a golden retriever, a Wheaton Terrier, a Mastiff, um, a Papillion, I guess is how you say it have a knees oh my gosh these are so hard they get harder to pronounce as i go forward um my husband is always like golden retriever golden retriever like if that's the kind of dog i get i get a golden retriever um but we'll get yeah yeah let's get pepper oh my gosh i don't know do i want pepper or do i want biscuit they're both really cute dogs and then this one up here <laughs> Oh my gosh. I feel like she she would have a golden retriever. Let's get a golden retriever. You know, they're living in Burleson Bay. And I just feel like the golden retriever is just like the face of dog. <laughs> so let's go ahead and um, get this golden retriever. I'm so excited. She's not even going to know what to think. She's just, where is she at actually? She's in here doing push-ups. You know, she is her father's child and her mother's child. <laughs> It just makes sense. Oh, her friend left. Yeah, sure. She likes fitness. Oh my gosh. She's going to be like, dad, who just came through the door? Oh my gosh, a puppy. She's like, dad, you got a puppy. We're going to friendly introduce ourselves. And she's just going to be in here freaking out, losing her mind. And we're going to have Leo come in here as well. Look at this. This baby is chunky. Look at the belly. Oh my gosh. She's like a puppy. Oh my god, dad, thank you. <laughs> he hasn't even told her that they're keeping it, but she's just already made the assumption that um, her dad really got her a dog. <laughs> um, I'm going to have Leo do a cautious introduction. He's like, uh, let me see. Let me see how this dog is. You know, his daughter just kind of ran right for it, but and Aspen's going to wake up and just be like, oh my god, a dog? There's a dog? <laughs> A golden retriever. I love that for them. And I'm gonna go ahead and have Leo just go ahead and adopt this dog because we love this dog. And you know, what's her name? Pepper? Was it a boy or a girl? I actually didn't notice that. Taking care yes, we of course, of course we want to do it. Pepper. I feel like we should change the name Pepper though. Nika, Emma. Let's just random it. Kano. Um, let's try it again. Missy, Missy Elliot, <laughs> um, Wolfie, cute, but not for this one, Clover, I really like the name Clover, so this is our puppy Clover, oh yes, where are you Nani, are you even excited about your dog, who are these people out here, <laughs> I don't even think she's like really that distracted, is the dog following Aspen? Oh my gosh, <laughs> I think the dog is following Aspen, and she's just going up to her room, but I'm going to go ahead and get some dog items, so we definitely need food bowl, so let's grab a food bowl real quick. I'm just going to get the refillable one because, y'all, listen, I'm lazy. I will forget to feed this dog, <laughs> so I'm going to get that one. I'm also going to put a few dog beds. Eventually, we will have to upgrade this because this dog's going to get big, obviously, <laughs> so we got some down here and let's keep the color scheme we're just gonna get like yeah that way aspen doesn't feel like her house is being ruined like her theme at least by the colors that they have uh for these dog bowls and beds um i think that will do a white bowl there we go that looks good and then let's put a doggy bed i don't think she can fit one in her room actually her room's kind of tight um Maybe if we move the soccer ball over here, we can squeeze this little Betty bed right in this section. There we go. 
and she really likes blue so we'll keep the blue maybe a different kind of blue though Ooh, I like that blue and I also have these little newspaper pads so I just thought it would be cute to have some kind of like off to the side in case the dog has an accident or is unable to make it outside so we're gonna give oh wait we had puppy pads I should have done the puppy pads instead actually and um where should I put them can I put them We'll put one like right here and then we'll get some toys for the dog as well and let me change this newspaper out for a puppy pad because <laughs> I completely forgot that I had these uh, actual puppy pads here so there we go looks so nice I'm so excited that we have a dog now I wanted to wait for them to move in a house to get a dog I had originally planned like I said to um get the dog for Aspen in my notes originally for this LP but you know, it just makes sense to get the dog for Nani now because she is struggling to make friends. So this dog could be her companion and just kind of help her feel less lonely, you know, but it is getting quite late. So I'm going to let the family kind of just settle in and, you know, Nani's going to do some boring things like work on her homework and get that done. And then I'm just going to get them to go to sleep and I'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning, guys. So it is the next day and Aspen's just roaming around the house and she just taught, I guess, close Clover how to use the puppy pad. Clover doesn't fully understand how to use it, but she just showed Clover how to use the puppy pad. So we're on to something here, but apparently today is a love day. And I was thinking about taking her and Leo out on a date this afternoon, you know, getting a setter for Nani. And then these two just going out on a date together. Oh my gosh, the dog just walked through the box. <laughs> but, you know, I just think that they need some time out, you know, kind of like a baby moon essentially, but not the full baby moon, just a little break from you know, just being at home and being mom and dad for a little bit and just to make sure that that spark still stays alive for them. Now, where are you going, Aspen? She's always trying to clean up. I'm like, just take it easy. You're so pregnant right now. You're in your third trimester. You don't have to rush around and clean up, but she just takes pride in her home. She wants to make sure that her house looks the best that it can, and I just, I appreciate that. You know, she, she is so appreciative of her home and just all the hard work she's done to get here that she just wants to make sure that it stays in tip-top shape and it looks like leo just got here leo turned in his homework confidently that that class and squeezed every bit of the knowledge he could out of it that kind of effort will surely be great great help to his final grade in the course okay cool so leo is going to be graduating here soon guys i'm so excited he only has like i think two days yeah two days left and then he will be officially ready to go into his career field with this uh with his degree and i'm just so excited for him i'm ready for him to have it done and over with because i'm sick of him disappearing to go to school <laughs> Aspen's like, you know, today's love day, don't you, Leo? Like, maybe we should uh, sneak and woohoo in the shower. And he's like, that sounds like a great idea, Aspen. I wonder if they can woohoo in this shower. I keep doing this. Oh my gosh. Let's see if they can do it. Ooh, these two are going to woohoo, but I kind of hate that they're woohooing in the kids' shower right now. Um, but they haven't had this alone time in such a long time. And the fact that Nani is away at school, they're like, you know what? This is a perfect opportunity for us to have some woohoo together our daughter is at school and we just we really need this look at leo he's like come here baby girl <laughs> they are so into each other hopefully yeah nani's not going to be home anytime soon so <laughs> thankfully she will not witness or walk in on this <laughs> oh look at our puppy oh my gosh guys clover's sleeping under the couch with the eyes wide open <laughs> Like, I don't understand. <laughs> but Nani, um, she's actually doing really good in school. She has a B, she's a B student at the moment. And then she also unlocked um, one of her badges last night. So she's doing really well in all categories of her life, except for the fact that she still has only made one friend. But that's okay. She'll probably make some more later. She, she doesn't really see a purpose in friends right now. She's like, you know, I'm just, I just want to be great at my education and everything. Oh my gosh, our sister's here and she's showing. Look at her little belly. Aspen, you should come down here and greet your sister-in-law. <laughs> I keep calling your sister-in-law. They're not married yet, but they're, they're practically married. Um, let's come down and let her in. And, um, guys, I haven't, I don't know if you guys have noticed it too, but, 
his sister has been having like some really crazy mood swings. Like there's some times where she just seems very upset. I don't know if it's the pregnancy or I don't know if there's something going on at home because when Demario is around, that's when she's tense and she's aggravated. But when he's not around, she's okay, but she just doesn't seem like herself. So I don't know if there's things going on at home. Leave your comments down below as to what you think is going on with um, Nadia. I just, I don't know. I would hate that for her to hate, you know, see her go through a divorce and everything. But, I mean, if she does have to go through that, Aspen, she knows a thing or two. And all of her friends that are in the, the group right here, the BFF group, my girls, they have all been in relationships for the most part and can also help, you know, help her out if she is experiencing something like that. Look at these two pregnant mamas <laughs> just waddling around in the kitchen. <laughs> Aspen's like, I can do circles around you. <laughs> But now that we are in our home, I definitely want to give the house, obviously, all the final touches and decorate and everything. And then I want to possibly start planning our wedding, guys. I do want to ask Nani to be our flower girl at some point. I can just imagine just so cute her walking down and throwing the petals for her mommy like just the sweetest thing in the world and then I think I would ask Steven to be our ring bear and it'd just be so cute I definitely want to get them married though before like their daughter turns into a teen or anything and oh my gosh I need to check the calendar because is there somebody's birthday coming up oh yeah Leo's birthday so it's Leo's birthday and then oh my gosh she's gonna be a teen within a matter of like two sim weeks that's crazy and then of course Aspen's birthday is all the way down here because she's been pregnant for <laughs> almost um her whole life <laughs> so we're gonna have Aspen's birthday for a long time so Leah's gonna be older than her by like a week or so but that's okay I do not plan to get her pregnant anytime soon after that maybe later but not not immediately after or anything um Oh, Aspen's up here cleaning. Y'all see what I'm saying? She's nesting. <laughs> she cannot stop. She's on top of it. She's vacuuming. She's picking things up. And I typically will have to ask my Sims to vacuum. But the fact that she's up here doing this on her own. Girl, chill. Oh my gosh. Nadia's helping too. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> she's like, girl, let me help you. This just ain't coming up. <laughs> she's nesting for her. <laughs> I love that. That's so funny. Um, but yeah, I think that we are going to go out with Leo. His sister has agreed to watch our kid for us for a little bit. So I'm going to come down here and be like, hey, Leo, let's go ahead and go on this date. You know, our your sister only has a little bit of time to watch our daughter. So because she's got to go back home and everything. So where's the option to go on a date? Oh, my gosh. Where's it at? Did I just go past it? I did. Oh my gosh, we'd like to invite over classmate Melanie. Cool, yeah, invite your friend over. Leo, stop playing staircase with me over here now. <laughs> I need to go on a date with you. <laughs> Ask to go on a date. There we go. <laughs> They just keep going past each other. So Aspen and Leo decided to come out to this country club. They heard that it was a great spot to come out to. And um, it's in the Brindlestone Bay area. So they just want to stay local because, you know, Nadia didn't have a lot of time to watch her niece or anything. So we're going to grab this table. Oh my gosh, it's already taken. Um, I guess we'll take this. Oh, there's some tables outside too. Maybe we can request this one because it is a beautiful day and we can send them outside to just enjoy the weather. It is kind of chilly though, so hopefully they'll be okay. I forget that we're still in spring. <laughs> Look at all these people coming in here. We've got Meredith Roswell. She looks very put together. And then we have Victor Fang. He's getting old. Oh no. Uh, Stanley Weeks. These people look very, very fancy. <laughs> I feel like I'm in some upscale place, <laughs> but, um, yeah, I'm, I'm excited to have them go on this date together. It is, like I said, love day. I believe, let me double check. Oh no, it's tomorrow. Tell me why I always do this. I literally always do it. <laughs> Maybe they won't be able to go out tomorrow. So they're going to go out right now. I can't believe I did that again. <laughs> I always mix up the calendar. I feel so stupid. <laughs> but it's okay. We'll, we'll just, we'll just enjoy today and they'll just have to, um, stay at home tomorrow. <laughs> but, um, 
Oh, look, there's a wedding arch down here right in front. Oh my gosh. But we're not going to do that. I'm going to give Aspen a big wedding, a really big wedding. I'm starting to feel really aggravated because I thought that this per um, this uh, hostess wasn't going to seat us. I was like, what is taking so long? Poor Aspen. She's wearing these super chunky, I mean, super high heels and <laughs> she's pregnant, but it's okay. We got our table finally. So I'm going to have her come over here and sit with her man. Look at these two. They are so cute. She's like, Leah, thank you so much for bringing me out here. And she's like, I wonder what they got. I wonder if they got anything good. Because usually these upscale places don't really have that much food that I enjoy. So let's try and order for the table now. What would, what? I don't know what they would get even. <laughs> so they have milk to drink. Ew, gross. <laughs> um, Let's get Aspen some water. And then I'm also going to get Leo some water as well. I should have done that at first. Oh my gosh. So Leo and Aspen are drinking water and... Then let's get uh, Leo some salmon and then we can get Aspen a steak. Like she's really hungry. <laughs> so we'll get her a steak. I wanted to have like a full course meal where they have like the appetizer and everything, but there's just not enough time to do all that. Like you don't, oh my gosh, why are you running frantic? Are you okay? They were like, what's his name? Wesley, if you don't get out to that table right now, <laughs> we are deducting your tip. Me, as a waitress, I was like, please, please don't deduct my tip. <laughs> but look at this beautiful view. Like, this place is so gorgeous. And it's right here near the water. And you just have, like, this really, really beautiful view of, I guess it's called the Bay Area. You know, Brendleton Bay. Pretty sure that's called the Bay Area. Is it supposed to storm or something? Why is he running so frantically? Oh, he had to go get this table's order, too. <laughs> He is swamped. He is so tired. What is she wearing? Um, she's dressed all kinds of crazy. <laughs> but I'm just looking at all these other people. Oh my gosh. Mortimer is here. And I guess he's talking about marital issues. He's like, so how's things with Bella? <laughs> these people, they got all the tea. <laughs> I'm going to have a deep conversation with him and just be like, I'm so happy that we have our home together now. I've been waiting for so long to you know, buy a house and I'm so glad that it's with you and you've been so supportive and so great. So we're going to brighten his day and just tell him how much we love him. She's like, you mean everything to me. And he's like, well, you mean everything to me. Like, I love you. And she's like, right back at you, babe. <laughs> they are so cute. I can't wait to see them say I do and everything. And I think I'm going to have them come over here and dance together before they leave. I think that would be so cute just to have a little slow dance moment for these two and just enjoy each other tonight. Um, we probably will end up going way over the time that Nadia said she could stay for. I hope she's okay with that. We're going to have another deep conversation with Leo. And I think that we'll send a text to Nadia and be like, hey, we might be a little late so please forgive us like <laughs> we're just really trying to enjoy ourselves, and she's probably gonna be like it's okay you know take your time Demario can handle things on his own <laughs> with our son so I'm glad that she sent that forward he's like I really hate homework <laughs> Aspen's like I totally get it I hate homework too that's why I didn't go back to school <laughs> um but she she was trying at one point she was um taking those classes and everything and then she just eventually decided to uh pursue the yoga studio but what what is going on with this waiter i know that the waiter was running around frantically are we still waiting on our food because it looks like the waiter is out here socializing <laughs> maybe that's why they were gonna fire him i don't know but i'm just gonna have these two come over here and dance let's dance to some what's a really let's see they have a romance station so this is lame but i think because aspen is pregnant she can't slow dance with leo that's so ridiculous like <laughs> what would prevent her from slow dancing with him that's so crazy oh my god our waiter is on the toilet <laughs> leslie <laughs> Where's our food? <laughs> We're going to have to leave soon if he doesn't hurry up and come out here with it. Because our date's almost over. Wesley is doing a terrible job. <laughs> I can now see why he was running around all crazy. Because he just, he was not doing it right. <laughs> Um, if he, if he doesn't bring out our food by the time the date's over, we're just, we're just gonna leave, guys. It sucks. But maybe Aspen and Leo can go through a drive through or something and grab something to eat. But I just cannot believe that we still haven't gotten our food yet. He's going over here to listen to the music. Like, <laughs> excuse me. We paid for this food. Aspen's like, I'm going to bed. <laughs> There's a bed up here. I'm going to bed. Guys, I'm not even kidding. I am in the process of sending Leo and Aspen home, as you can see. And our waiter came out and dropped our food. Literally right there next to our table. I was like, you know what? <laughs> I'm leaving. Like, just keep 
keep your food. I don't want it. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. So it is the next morning, and I'm currently having um, Nani check her badge progress to see how far we've gotten, and we haven't really been doing too great. So I think that the first thing I'm going to work on is probably her arts and crafts, just because I feel like that'll be the easiest one to do. Um, but also. I, I know I just kind of jumped in and surprised you guys, but today is Leo's graduation day. So Leo should hopefully be graduating. Um, hopefully it'll let me do the event. Sometimes you guys know that it just cancels it out and I'm really fingers crossing that everything works out the way it's supposed to. Um, now I am going to just throw Nani's little drawing table down here in the corner somewhere. <laughs> I know it seems kind of like Harry Potter-ish to just throw her almost underneath the staircase, <laughs> but it's the only place I could really see her being able to, you know, have the space to do it before. Cause I don't want to like mess up these rooms before I go in and decorate them and everything. Um, but let's see where um, Aspen is. She's been feeling so terrible, guys. I think that the baby is 100% coming, like, within the next few hours. <laughs> um, so hopefully she can make it to Leo's graduation and be able to witness him graduate and everything because Aspen really feels like she's 100% in labor. Let me check really quickly. Oh, my God. She is in labor. <gasps> she's in labor. <laughs> Oh my god. Well, I'm gonna have her go over here. I was like, that is not normal. <laughs> she was about to go to the bathroom and everything. I'm gonna have her come here and try to give birth to this baby. Oh my gosh, poor Aspen. Hang on, I think I have the pregnancy pause. She must have went into labor last night before I even got to pause it. Let me go ahead and um unpause this. Poor thing. Oh my god. <laughs> Could you imagine just being paused in labor? <laughs> That'd be so bad. Okay, so she should be able to go have this baby now. I really, um, I was hoping she'd wait till the end of the episode. That's why I paused it because I was getting worried. Um, let's see if we can have her come on upstairs and give birth to this baby. Aspen, are you okay? Oh my gosh, she's stuck. I don't want to reset her. I'm so scared. <laughs> Okay, guys, I was able to fix Aspen, so she's officially going to go have this baby. You know what? I kind of, wait, no, we probably shouldn't because Leo might actually miss his graduation, and I really want that picture. <laughs> so I'm going to have her just go upstairs and have this baby right here. Little Leo Jr. is coming into the world, guys. Leo, where are you going? Pre-parental panic. <laughs> He's like, oh my gosh, she's just going to have the baby without any kind of medical support. <laughs> <laughs> Aspen's like, oh my gosh, she's so upset, but she's so ready to meet her baby boy. So his name is going to be Leo Jr. And obviously last name Bonds. Oh my gosh, Leo Jr. Bonds. Let's see this baby. Oh my gosh, look at him. I know he, y'all, I do this all the time. <laughs> and I know that these babies look just like all the other babies, but... It just makes me so happy. Look at her. She's like, this is my beautiful work. <laughs> my child. Yes, Aspen. Have they have they always done this? Because I've never, I don't remember seeing them pick up the baby like this. Oh, look at her. She's like, oh my gosh, my son. She's so happy. I'm happy for her. Like, beyond happy. Because... We've been waiting so long for this pregnancy just to be done and over with because I feel like we've been pregnant forever. Like, <laughs> I'm so ready to get her back into the studio. Also, just completely, like, disregarded the fact that I cut her hair off. Like, <laughs> she has short hair now and I think it suits her so well. Look at our little baby. Oh, so cute. Come cuddle, Leo. Come cuddle your baby. He's stuck in the frame. <laughs> okay, there we go. Aw, come cuddle. He's like my son, Leo Jr. Aw. Aspen, are you okay, baby girl? She's gotta go pee. Well, you better go pee before you pee on yourself. <laughs> oh my gosh, and Nadia is here. Are you okay? I mean, not Nadia. Nani. <laughs> Nani's here. It says, a friend's too. Okay, those, these have nothing to do with the fact that there's a new baby. <laughs> She's just working out. She's like, Dad, look at my push-ups. Look at my crunches, Dad. Look at my crunches. <laughs> She's trying to get his attention, but he's just trying to make sure that LJ is okay. Aww. What else do we need to do? Probably bottle feed him really quickly. 
make sure that he's all right um and then i think it's almost time for the graduation within a few hours probably right um let's see what time is the graduation i think 10 maybe uh yeah 10 14 so wow that was perfect timing thank you Aspen, for going into labor oh my god he's still upset what does he want dirty diaper now <laughs> There you go, LJ. Okay, hopefully he'll get some sleep now. <laughs> um, but Aspen's feeling great. She, oh my gosh, we haven't seen Aspen like this in a long time. She looks so good. <laughs> you know what? I'm just going to have her come out here and, oh, we know we don't have time. I was like, I'm going to have her do a yoga class. <laughs> but we do have to go um, to Leo's graduation within a few. Oh my gosh, so who left the, the food out? <laughs> Oh my gosh, little Clover was like, thanks for the meal. <laughs> Where's Nani? Nani, go see your baby brother. Oh my gosh, talk to. He's sleeping right now. I can totally see her going in here, waking him up and talking to him. She's like, today's your birthday. Oh my gosh, I can't believe you're here. Do you guys feel like Nani would be the jealous type? Do you think that she's going to get that little perk where it says that she's feeling jealous of the new sibling? Or do you think she's probably going to be just kind of happy to have somebody around i feel like she would be happy to have a sibling around because she just she has that personality i don't know i just feel it i don't think that she'd be really upset about it but we're gonna cool. oh look at her <laughs> she's so cute she's so precious oh my gosh i hate that it keeps dropping down oh she's tickling him that was precious our graduation ceremony is about to happen yes let's go all right, guys, so we are here at Leo's graduation, and of course, Nani and her mother, Aspen, have come to support him, and it's down here that she wants to cloud gaze with her dad. That's so sweet, <laughs> but we had to leave LJ with a sitter, um, but Aspen brought apparently some garlic noodles with her because she's hungry, <laughs> but I'm so excited to see Leo come out here all graduated and looking so official out of his cap and gown. I'm just, I'm so pumped, but the girls are just standing outside with I wish we could go inside and attend the graduation, but we cannot, so we just have to wait outside for him, and hopefully he'll be out here soon. Oh my gosh, it's the mascot. Maybe Nani should talk to the mascot. Like, is she going to want to come to the school? Like, is she want to go to Brightchester? What do you guys think? Um, or is she not going to want to go to college at all? She may not want to go. Oh, look at these two. <laughs> oh my gosh, she got another perk for her um her scout stuff. Cool. The scouts is actually quite difficult, like when you think about it. There's so much that like you need to accomplish and trying to think of it all at the at one time is just so difficult. Oh <laughs> she's hugging her mom. She's just so cute. Alright, Leo, where are you? We're anxiously awaiting for you. Here he comes. Oh my gosh, she's here. <laughs> oh my god he just graduated look at her she's like yeah dad go <laughs> she's cheering for him i think i could see her coming over here and giving her dad a big hug as well so um let's hug our dad lovingly oh my gosh i'm so proud of him he finished all done with university i thought i was never gonna finish <laughs> i was so going crazy just like doing his homework and everything so i'm glad that that's over with but nani's gonna come over here and hug her dad really quickly she's so proud of him and she cannot believe he finished university and everything i'm trying to get this person like out of the background of my picture <laughs> can y'all move like you're in the way just go away <laughs> let's try that there we go. We finally got our hug. I'm so happy. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. I can't stand it. Um, but yes, guys, I think I'm going to go ahead and wrap this part up right here. Leave your comments down below. Let me know how you're feeling. Let me know how you like it, everything. Like Aspen's haircut, the new house, Leo graduating, LJ being here, Nani growing up, getting the dog. Like, oh my gosh, there's so much happening for Finding Solace right now. I'm so happy. But guys, yeah, leave your comments down below. would love to hear from you. And yeah, I will talk to you all very soon. Bye, guys.